Good evening and welcome to the daily market update. The DSCX remained in the green zone and gained 16.44 points or 0.26%, settling at 6,302 points. Mega turnover was BDT 7.53 billion, which is an increase of 48.06% compared to the previous trading day. Belgium Paints, Bangladesh Shipping Corporation and Rotunpur Steel from the industrial sector, Lafarge Hull Cement, Crown Cement from the cement sector, and Green Delta Insurance, Rupali Life Insurance and Crystal Insurance from the insurance sector mainly pulled up the market today. In terms of sector-wise return, the IT sector posted the highest gain of 3.07%, while the cement sector registered the second highest gain of 1.53%. On the other hand, the mutual fund sector posted the highest loss of 0.76% today. Six insurance companies and five IT companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Rottenpur Steel v Rolling Mills, Boshunthara Paper Mills and Deshbungthu Polymer registered the highest gain, while IFIL Islamic Mutual, Central Pharmaceuticals and Kulna Printing and Packaging were the top losers today. There was no disclosed price-sensitive information for these stocks. The trading volume of GSP Finance, Mithun Knitting and Dyeing and Family tax BD increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of these tax. Today's top two news, the country's RMG exports to the US plunged to USD 6.79 billion in the first 11 months of 2023, which was USD 9.04 billion in the same period of the previous year. It declined in both value and volume in the same period, mainly due to the ongoing global economic slowdown. However, apparel export is expected to rebound in the upcoming months as the inflation is easing in the West and the interest rate is also expected to go down soon. The country's LC settlement in December dipped to a 37-month low at USD 4.53 billion as imports have been decreasing for the last several months. However, banks are now a bit comfortable opening site LCs along with deferred LCs as they have enough liquidity of foreign currency. This is because the country saw a good amount of remittance inflow in the last two months. Still, in December, the LC opening plunged by 7% month-over-month to USD 4.90 billion, making the lowest in the last six months. That's all for today. We will be back again on Sunday with more updates on Taka Stock Exchange. Follow Eller Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.